because he lives. Let's finish your process on the We all believe. It's a wonderful Christian can say, oh, how I love
construed his obligation. That is why he came. He came to die on the cross. He could not have been taken out of there any other way than the way that he went. He had to die on the cross. Because he died on that cross, I want to talk about this one. Just look what God did. Just look. I, I started to phrase it by saying it this way. Just look at what God has done. Well, we can live a whole lifetime and never exalt what God has already done. Matter of fact, when we get in, if I understand my Bible correctly, when we get into eternity, we will spend eternity learning something new about the Lord Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. That's and right. All eternity, we'll find out something about the Lord Jesus Christ. That's right. How dare anyone think I know it all now? Amen. Just not possible. Isn't that right? Yes, sir. Father, we come this morning. Bowing in our hearts. Acknowledging that you are God all by yourself. Acknowledging that you look beyond our fall and you saw our need. Not only did you look, not only did you see our need, but Lord, thank you for having already met that need. We thank you, Lord, that there is never a moment when we are not in your presence. Even if we don't realize we are still in your presence. You got your eyes on us. Yes, sir. You got your arms around us. Right. You overshadow us. Everywhere we go, you're, you're, you're with us, Lord. Right. We thank you this morning. We thank you, Lord, that you're going to speak your word mm -hmm. through this earthen vessel. Mm -hmm. And Lord, give me clarity of mind, clarity of thoughts, that I may speak the truth. Out of your word, that your people may be edified, that you may be glorified, and that the enemy, Satan, may be horrified because of what you have already done, right. because of what you are doing right now, because of what you're going to do in the future.
suffer the humiliation of what man could throw at him. After being obedient to the Heavenly Father, after not shrinking his duty or his obligation to go to the cross, God allowed him to see the fruit of his labor. Didn't he do it? I said, he did it, didn't he? Verse 9 says, that's what we're going to pick up this morning. Verse 9 says, way more. God also has highly, God didn't just exalt him, he highly exalted him. Not only did he exalt him, he has given him a name.
to having your head chopped off. In the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Of things in heaven. There's a, I don't know whether it's a hymn or a song or what, 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 but there's, uh, I'm running to my mind now, there are just the angels bow before him. Yeah, I said angels bow before him. Heaven and earth. Y'all know what I'm going with that. No, I mean, I, heaven and earth adore him. I wish that I knew the rest of that. But I just got to leave where I am now. I do know that even at his birth, the angels from heaven they came down and they were praising and worshiping God yeah. at his birth. <laughs> Not only, uh, I like this part, the Paul said things in him and things on earth but he goes a step further. He said, the thing beneath you. You see the, let me see, can I think of the word to you right now? You see the netter world tremble when Jesus Christ came into the world. Because they knew that their time wasn't long. Satan knew then that God was about ready to bring judgment upon him and his dominion. Right. And in name, I'm going to say again, mm -hmm. every knee should bow. Yes, Some may be too hard-hearted to bow today. Mm -hmm. Some may be too stiff-necked to bow today. But if man knew what was good for him or her, male, female, if man, woman knew what was good for them, they would bow today before it gets too late. Because as time moves on, time is going to come to an end. Somebody would get with me now and pray with the preacher and ask the Lord, say, Lord, speak to the preacher. Yeah, yeah. I said, time is coming to a close. Yeah, you see, time as we know it is going to wind up one day. Yeah, or maybe you can't say, why don't we do it? Why do we do it now? Yeah. I just know time is running out. Yeah. Do you know time is running out? If you don't believe time is running out, just look at your television today. If you don't believe time is running out, just look at what's happening in the newspaper today. If you don't believe time is running out, just look at what's happening in your neighborhood. I said things are happening today that God said was going to happen. But he said as time came to an end, men were going to start doing things to dishonor his name. Men would do things that would bring shame upon the name of Jesus Christ. I said, time is running out. Isn't that right, saints? I said, time is running out. And Paul goes on to say in verse 11, and that every tongue should confess. But let me back up just a little bit. I said, at his birth, the angels came down. They begin to pray God, yeah. and the nether world begin to tremble because they knew that their time was coming to an end. Right. Now, and that every tongue should confess, yeah. confess what? That Jesus Christ yeah. is Lord. Yeah. Uh, yeah, who's going to get the benefit from that? When you confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, yeah. it should be to the glory of God the Father. Yeah. I said, He yeah. is Lord. Yeah. He's Lord of Lord. Yeah. Isn't that right? Yeah. He's King of Kings. Yeah. Isn't that right, church? He is Alpha and Omega. Yeah. I know that's right. He's the first and He's the last. Yeah. He 